Alright, so I scrapped the 50 subscribers thing that I was doing before, which was just a Project Zomboid vid, and since this is normally just me sitting here talking while I dig it, like a ton of stuff, I figured that, um, for the time being, I could just use this. So, hello guys. For anyone who actually has watched any of my content, you will know that I just broke 50 subs, and for that I am eternally grateful. Well, maybe not eternally. Maybe I'm grateful until I break another milestone? But what if that does take an eternity? I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't speak English. It's not my first language. It's my 69th. I, I don't know. I'm just shit at coming up with things to say. Um, so... Oh god. Catch it. So essentially, what I need to say here is thank you guys so much for letting Brad and I... I know, some of you are probably saying, when, the, when was the last time Brad was in a video? I know, man. That's, that's my field, too. Um, but for uh, any of you watching, thank you again. Like I said, uh, it means a lot. Uh, I have never reached 50 subs on a channel before. The highest I had gotten before, I believe, was 25. So, uh, this is a milestone for me, even though I've had three channels over the years, because they all sucked ass, and now they don't. Um, well, actually, they still suck, and I'd love to make mine better, but that will take time. Um, we just live in an age where there's so many YouTube channels. It's hard to compete these days. It's not like the original days where there were like four people and everyone was creative in their own way because no one else had ever done that before. Shite, whatever, we'll just jump. Screw it. Alright, um, so, because we've hit 50 subscribers and because I think that's a pretty good milestone, um, to hit, uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway, so this video should be coming out after this. So, for those of you who don't know, um, for the last seven months, or maybe eight, depending on when this video releases, uh, which should be as soon as I can get it up, um, Uplay has been releasing... Shit, I totally hit space! Game! Come on! Okay, I hit space. Anyway. Um, Uplay has been releasing games. And they've been doing this for free under the guise of their, or not guys, really. Um, this is not like a nefarious plot or anything. Um, because they hit 30 years, they um, gave. They are doing 12 months of free games. So if you want to go Google, um, you play 30. You can see all the games they've got. Um, upon release, the event that they're doing now will have expired. Basically, they said for anyone who comes here in the next three days, which is December. 15th to 18th, I believe, um, you will get, oh yeah, I have infinite ammo for both guns, you will get, uh, all the games that you missed, so if you missed any, you can get all of them at once, so what I did, I created two accounts, one for Brad, because he did miss all of them the original time around, and another one to give away, so we're gonna be giving away that, along with the email set up with it, so you don't ever have to ask us again for any problems, unfortunately, the reason I created the email is because I mistakenly, um, typed in our address to begin with, so it is Wyman without an A, and so it's ymnbradgaming.co at gmail.com, or at ymnbradgaming at gmail.com. So, uh, for anyone who's interested, uh, I think I will be setting up a Gleam, it all depends. It is free, I believe, um, to use the main version. You can pay for a better service or something. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, I totally forgot what that sound meant. It is the stupid ass worm bitches. Gotcha. Alright. Did I get everything? So, yeah, I'll be setting up a giveaway on Gleam. So, if you enter that, you can get an account. It has Raymond Origin? It has a Raymond game, which I'm not particularly fond of, so I don't actually know the details of that. Um. And when I say I'm not fond of, I mean that series in general. Um, is there a reason I can't jump? There we go. Jesus. I'm gonna die. Maybe I should just fucking come up here and talk. Okay. So you get the email, you get the account, the games are Assassin's Creed 3, The Crew, um, the original Splinter Cell, the Prince of Persia game from like 19-something. Um, what else is there? 
Uh, I know the crew... Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. So you get seven free games just for signing up for that giveaway if you make it. We're just going to have to headlong it here. But yeah, again, thank you guys a lot for 50 subscribers. Honestly, there was a point where I didn't even think we'd ever reach that. So uh, the last, I don't know, month or two, our, um, our subs have actually been growing at a fairly steady rate for almost a year and a half. I would say they, it was a very uncommon thing for us to get even a single subscriber. Um, but now that's not a problem. Uh, and for those of you who wonder, like, I mean, we do have ads. That's just because I decided to partner to try and get us more views. And the problem with that is that uh, because I did that, um, some people probably wonder how much I probably make off the channel. Uh, Brad currently doesn't make anything just because it's such an insignificant amount. Um, I will say we probably get around 18 views a month, and we usually end up, and this is ballpark because I'm not allowed, for whatever reason, Google doesn't allow you to tell people what you make. Um, I make less than 30 cents. Let's just put it at that. A lot less than 30 cents a month. So it's not like this is a career, or anywhere near a career at the moment. Um, but one day I'd hope, I've never, so I've always wanted to have a channel that grows to the point where I can use it to fund gaming as a hobby and the channel as a hobby itself. So what I wanted to be able to do is have enough income that I can, you know, whenever I needed a computer upgrade, whenever Brad needs to upgrade his computer, we can just dip into a fund that is that. And, you know, none of those proceeds would go directly to us. We would have our own jobs. It's just that YouTube would supplement our gaming and our YouTube channel as a whole. So, you know, I would be able to buy, you know, it's like, oh, this new game's coming out. It looks so cool. And I'd be like, well, good thing there's like $600 in the YouTube account. Let's spend 200 to get the, uh, you know, the money. Uh, let's spend the 200 to buy two copies. And it will really want 20 Um to buy two copies, and we can play that for the channel, and play it for whatever. And just in that way, that that's my goal as a YouTuber. Um, I know some people like to say that, like what they're really in it for, and that's that's what it is for me. I've always found it a hobby. Uh, I've always wanted to share my videos. I don't know why, because I'm fucking narcissistic as shit. No, um, but yeah, that's really. Hopefully our channel gets there one day. I don't need to live off of it, like I said. Um, in fact, I'm about to start college for engineering, so I don't think money will be too much of an issue. But, you know, maybe I can just live the Markiplier life. We make, like, six million a year, and neither of us has to work, and we can just do this. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how much uh, they make, because, again, YouTube doesn't allow you to say. You can... Net worth, I believe, is public domain, though. And I think each of them, PewDiePie and Markiplier, have net worths. In. Actually, I don't even think you can compare the two. Um, I think PewDiePie is probably in the... Close to the billions, isn't he? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that PewDiePie is almost a net worth of a billion dollars. So, you know, kids, here's what you can look forward to if you're... I don't know, you scream at the top of your lungs during horror games. I don't know. That's my opinion. I'm not a huge fan of PewDiePie, and now he doesn't even really do gaming videos. Um, I don't really know what the fuck he does. He does, like, vlogs. Um, but, you know, if that's what he wants to do, it's not for me to say. It's his creative choice. It's his channel. Um, and obviously he's he's done well with it. It's not something you can look at, even though I don't really like him. I can say, look, that guy, he knew how to bring him in. <laughs> and he he knew what he wanted, and he got it. I what the fuck is this? Used to make red dye. Um, yeah, can I can I get like a spawn water? Ow. Like a spawn water thing. Is there, like, buckets? How do I get rid of lava? What if I just... 
Lava be gone? Question mark? Holy shite. Alright, so here's where we're gonna go dangerous for this one. Herp! Okay. Alright, so the job here is mine out this section for me to stand in. And mine out that to leak. Alright. Lava travels, I think, in a different way than water does. That's pretty interesting. Also, it breaks pots immediately upon contact. And kills shit rapidly. That was 49 damage for a hit. Alright, so this is the hole, right? So if we follow that down... That should be here. Alright, so then I should, theoretically, be able to block that off, right? Let's, let's make sure. Totally. Alright, cool. So we've diverted that lava. We're gonna keep making our way down. We're just still trying to make a elevator at this point. Um, it takes a long ass time. So if you're trying to get into Ferrari at this late, I recommend uh, getting, getting some friends. And uh, I'm available. You know? Drop me a drop me in a message. I just got the game uh, or the app, this app called Gamerly. Uh, check it out. I'm not sponsored, although apparently they do sponsor some YouTubers because I saw one in a comment there, like their description once that it said something about being like sponsored by Gamerly. Hit me up. I'll take some extra can't knock. <laughs> um, but uh, it's actually really cool. So you put what games you have, and then people go, oh, they send out what are called beacons, and they say, you know, this is the time I would like to get together and play this game with somebody. So you're like, you know, I, I want to start a YouTube series on The Division that I just, I want a cold start. So this was an example. There's this uh, girl. And normally I wouldn't be like, yeah, I was a girl, man. But she was really accentuating the... Uh, how, like, GAMER GIRL, and it was in all caps and all kinds of stuff, so it was obvious that she was trying to use that, I guess, as a way to get people coming in, I don't know, um, I'm just saying, uh, so with that, um, she was like, I want to start The Division, do a series, so it's, it's really cool because you can get together with a lot of gamers, because, you know, gamers are social people, and at this point, gamers make up a lot of the percentage of people, it's not what it used to be. It is very much a a global phenomenon, and it, it the, the app just lets you kind of link with people who share games, and you're like, oh, I kind of want to do this. So, with that, be sure to get that app. You could send out a thing like, hey, I need to make an elevator that's like 19 wide. Can I get 100 people? And you're like, from now to whenever you know you're getting off, or now to whatever, or maybe you set it from now to the time that you want to start, and you put that in the description. It's just, you know, people will hit you up, they'll be like, hey, I can I can join you, I can play that. And, uh, so you can, you can kind of bond with people, and, uh, there's tag systems and stuff. I still sound like I'm, like, sponsored or something. I just really like the app. I think it's cool. Um, especially because, um, just because I've already tried to help two people, that girl being one, and another person who had just come to Arma and no one was helping him, so unfortunately at the time I couldn't actually play with him, but I tried to sit there and chat, because it does have a built-in messenger system, and I tried to just sit there and chat with him, and explain some of the basics and how to fly and stuff, just so he wouldn't feel so left out of the whole, like, community, because Arma is a community. It would not be the game it is if it didn't have the numbers it has, because the game... Sorry, Bohemia. Your game is pretty shit when it comes to running at any decent way for pretty much the entire world's population. So, uh, it is people who like the game. And again, uh, not sponsored by Bohemia, but I'm, I'm gonna... I would highly recommend anyone who wants to get into Milsim. Um, first of all, I think I would try Project Reality. And the reason I would is it's free. Um, then... I would get into Arma 2, because you can get into the DayZ community, which is still alive for the most part. You can play, like, I usually only play Overpock, so I would recommend getting all that, and uh, the way I do that now is just go to the CCG site, get their, um, get their launcher, tell it to join an Overpock server, it'll download all the mods, and then you don't actually have to play on CCG. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I would recommend starting with 
project reality so you can get the feel for group communications, quad communication, that whole like just the mill sim feel in general. And then after that, oh shit. Okay. Alright. After that, then I would suggest um Maybe even Battlefield 1942 is close to Project Reality. It's less like a Milsim, though. I'm just saying that's a good game to check out. It's free. You can go get it off Blue Drake's site. Hashtag sponsored by Blue Drake. No, I'm <laughs> um, So, yeah, uh, there's that. Okay, there's someone coming at me, dude. Alright, I killed it, apparently. So, uh,. I would do that. I would go into the Arma 2, the DayZ community, because that's really where Arma got all of its fame, really, was DayZ. It was such a large phenomenon. Um, also, I think I'm in hell. I think this is hell. Uh, ah, here it is. It's a little further down. It's got, like, a lack of... thing. Alright, so it's down here. For those of you who don't really know Terraria very well, I know that I got into it really late, being, you know, a few months ago. And, uh, fuck, he can hit me through walls. And there's nothing but lava over here. No! Alright. <clears throat> For those who, of you who don't know Terraria, you come down to the elevator, or you make a elevator all the way down, so that you can fight the wall of flesh in hell. Um, you make a giant platform down there, and then you fight it. And then when you do that, it activates a mode called Hard Mode, I believe. And the game gets harder, but it also unlocks all the future progression. So you can't really progress past what I've done without that. Uh, we did it on another server. I should have the footage of that somewhere. Uh, actually, I know where it is. It's in a backlog folder. Um, I'll try and edit those out and uh, release them, just so you can kind of see all this. Um, I think I'll do it afterwards, though. So this will be a recent one. So you'll have to jump from the old ones to this one and then keep going in my later videos that I'm going to do, hopefully with Brad again. Um, but he, he's currently not available, and he's going to ship out to basic training in January. So when he finishes that, he gets all settled in, gets his computer back. Um, we should be able to play. And by then, I'll have finished... I'll have fixed all the life issues I'm having. Um, I'll have a job, so my parents will stop being douchebags and give me back my internet. Um, and with that, I'll also have an income so I can buy more games, so I can continue starting the single-player experience, because I had um, recently the great ability to um, play Wolfenstein, the new order, or the old blood thing. Um, I don't know. I own it. I played through it. It was a fantastic game. Unfortunately, about a half of the game I lost due to hard drive filling up. So, uh, I will have to redo the second half. And just for those of you who are watching this after watching those videos and you're curious when that happened, if you don't know that it happened, uh, it's right after the episode where I make the choice. So I'm like, hey, Zach told me to take this choice, so we're going to do it. That's the intro to that video. And then after that video, I lost everything. Um, but yeah, another thing that happened recently, I got an email from these people uh, that I signed up with on Twitter called Mana Marketing. And for, you, for those of you who don't know anything about it, which is probably most of you, um, Mana Marketing does, essentially, they're like, hey, we need indie developers, you can come to us and we'll help you market things through social media. So I know uh, recently I got an email uh, saying, hey, do you want an exclusive uh, YouTuber build of this RPG um, that these guys have made? Because it's got about 15 minutes of extra um, content that nobody else gets, only YouTubers and streamers that are signed up with us. So essentially, I'd imagine, I don't know how much you have to pay mana marketing as a developer, but you pay and they help you market your game, and I, that's pretty cool. And I just thought that that benefit right there was pretty noteworthy. It's the first time I've gotten contacted by them. Um, it was probably just a mass email. In fact, I know it was a mass email. I'm not saying specifically I was ruled out. I'm just saying uh, it's it means that in the future I could get access to some indie games that, or maybe exclusive content, and I can bring that to you guys. And, uh, that would definitely help boost views. Uh, there's nothing like exclusivity to uh, help with views. So just because I haven't explored this world in like freaking like almost a year at this point, um, 
can't believe it's been that long. Um, I'm just going to take the, like, mine shaft up here that goes across the sky. I don't remember why we built it this high. I think it was so that you could get to the clouds or something. I don't know. This is world height, right? Oh, you know what? I don't think we ever made it. Yeah, we never made this thing go... Uh... Oh shit, I just got rid of my, um... Oh crap. Oh shit. Nine. Oh! You saw that. That happened. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, exclusivity. And what I mean is, you know, things that I can get that nobody else gets. So, um, obviously that's the definition. I just, for anyone who doesn't really know, I know there are a lot more... Um, and there used to be people who don't speak English as a primary language that listen to YouTube videos. So for all of you out there, I just I just helped you out there explain that word. Now you can go use it with all your uh, English-speaking buddies, and they'll be like, holy crap, dude, you know what exclusivity means? I didn't even know that was a word. But uh, <laughs> I don't, I just ramble, I guess. That's, that's something that's cool. Um, I'm going to go off to college in the fall, so hopefully before between then and now I hope to have really gotten the channel around to being better. Um, I've been trying to do Let's Plays, so like just full playthroughs of games. I've been trying to do that in a way that is a lot more professional, um, better commentary than me just kind of silently staring at the screen and such. So, uh, I don't know, I think I've done some pretty good stuff in recently, and I've also done some pretty shit stuff. Um, but yeah. So, uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end this one here, but, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and again, thank you for 50 subs. I know that sounds like nothing. To a lot of people, they get more than 50 subs without even having videos posted. And then there are those people who have the, like, channel names of, like, 50,000 subs without a single video challenge or whatever, and people actually do that, and I have considered trying to do that with our channel at one point, but um, I thought against it, because I'd rather get my my uh, subs from people who actually watch, and I know that probably about 15 of my subs are friends in real life, and, you know, at this point, though, I know, because I've hit 50, I know it's not just that. I know there is at least a few people who have watched my content and liked it enough to sub, and hopefully it'll get better so people will come. And the people who did come here originally will be able to see better content. Um, I'm hoping to get back into Arma real soon, but it will require a lot of fucking downloading, because I uninstalled it and had probably close to a hundred gigs worth of uh, add-ons for it, just the game itself. So uh, yeah, like I said, uh, for the... And before I wrap up, let me just say this thing right here, this is a boss arena for the uh, Cthulhu. And you know what, I might as well just fight one. Let's go, boy. I think I can't until it's nighttime, actually. So never mind. Screw you guys, you don't get to see a boss fight. Hope you're happy. It's it's all your fault. Should have given me a hundred subs. Should have been a thousand. <laughs>